Hello students, welcome. So we will be going to start a new MOOCs course titled Chemical Process Technology which is to be offered from January 23 to April 23. So as you know this Chemical Process Technology course is a compulsory course in the undergraduate curriculum of chemical engineering throughout India. So we will go first through a basic idea of why this course is required and then we will shortly describe the modules. I am Professor Tamal Banerjee from Department of Chemical Engineering, IIT Gohati. So I will take you through, through the modules. So chemical process industry, we should know what is the background. So when we are getting some raw materials, this needs to be converted to some useful products, useful or economically products, economically benefited products. So like that, we use them in our day to day life. So these processes are usually industrial processes. So these industrial processes process certain challenges, certain challenges for chemical engineers so as to develop these processes. To know these challenges, you should be have a thorough background information regarding what are the processes which has been already been existing. So for that you require this course, the understanding of this course. So in this chemical process technology in the previous, what we have studied is regarding the oil industry, then oil and gas industry and the coal industry, then there are intermediate chemicals, base chemicals then you will have the bulk chemicals, then finally the new concepts called as biorefinery. So what is aims this particular subject is to integrate the chemical process. So whatever you do, let us say in the lab scale, you do in a micro scale, length scale. So you derive certain properties from the concepts of chemistry and physics and then you get the results, then you do not stop there. Then what you do, you go ahead and do the mesoscale. So what is mesoscale? Mesoscale are the basically the unit operations. So in the unit operation, you require certain equipment and how to design this equipment. These are known as, let us say we talk about reactors or separation unit or distillation column or absorber. So the integration of all these units together forms the macro scale, the time scale, that is the process. Finally, you develop a process. So from laboratory scale, that is the micro scale, to meso scale and finally the macro scale. So who should attend this course? Because it involves the concepts of chemical engineering. So the undergraduates of chemical engineering discipline are the primary audience for this course. Now let us go through the modules shortly. So the course modules are developed and they into modules and these modules are overall there will be six modules I will be teaching. And they are those one, the first module will actually introduce you to the process development in general. So in this case, we will develop what we call discuss the process, which process takes more time, which is less time. For example, formation of oil or a fossil fuel is a very long process, while a normal reaction where uh, some reaction is occurring, isothermic or endothermic reaction is very short period of time. So we will discuss the time scale of various processes. And finally also we will shortly describe or introduce you to the one of the most important aspect that is process safety. Then we go ahead uh, and uh, look up these two modules, the inorganic chemical industries which is more or less coincides with the chemical process technology syllabus of undergraduate curriculum. This is what we require because this has been there for centuries. So I am writing the elements here that will be taught the sulfur element, then there will be nitrogen, mainly ammonia, then urea, then syngas, okay. Then uh, these are the difficult elements and the associate compounds that will be taught. Sulfur means you will be taught sulfur dioxide and then sulfuric acid, then the ammonia synthesis, then urea synthesis and finally syngas. Syngas are nothing but you know it is a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Then in the second part also we will take up some nitrogen compounds and the phosphorus compounds like phosphoric acid, then chlorine, then soda ash production, okay. These are the conventional chemicals. Then we will go to the bulk horse on the show horse. So bulk horse and the show horse means these are the two modules where you will study the effect of the catalyst because most of the reactions take place under the pretext of catalyst, catalyst driven process. So this catalyst may be homogeneous or it may be heterogeneous. In the first one, the industrial catalysis, we will primarily focus on the heterogeneous catalysis. So we will discuss problems where we form the light hydrocarbons such as pentane, hexanes. So here the use of certain catalyst materials such as zeolites will be demonstrated. Or you can also study the, let us say the automation, so automate the in automobiles, 
how the emission where catalytic part is used in a monolith reactor. The monolith reactor is a new concept which has been taught and it has been used especially in the exhaust emission system of our automobiles. Then comes the production of bulk chemicals. This bulk chemicals using transition met chemicals is primarily through the homogeneous catalysis. There I what it will be homogeneous catalysis means you have a single phase, heterogeneous means you have multi phase. So in homogeneous catalysis you must understand the catalyst recovery is very difficult while in heterogeneous it is easier. In the homogeneous catalysis we will study the production of acetic acid then we also study the certain examples like oligomerization for example the shop process the shop process in the shop process it is the shell higher olefin process it means I am converting a olefin to a higher olefin that is called the shop process. Then hydroformylation reactions, the hydroformylation means we are adding both hydrogen as well as the formyl group. So these are the processes the fourth and fifth module which will pertain to the catalysis. Then the final uh, module is the sustainable biorefineries. The biorefineries as you know it is now trending and because our government of India has put a major focus on biorefineries especially 1G, 2G and 3G fuels. So in that we will discuss how the biomass has converted primarily through roots. We will see the thermochemical roots which involves the addition of heat and temperature and the hydrolysis route which involves the addition of enzymes or microorganisms to convert them into simple sugars. So biomass are converted to sugars and from the sugars you convert it to fuels. From the sugars you can also convert to fuels as well as to biochemicals. So we will discuss the manufacture of some key biochemicals such as HMF, then levulinic acid likewise. So this will actually then conclude our entire syllabus. So in a short we will be seeing both the conventional chemicals, then the catalytic processes and finally the biorefineries. I hope you will enjoy all the modules and it will give you a comprehensive knowledge regarding chemical engineering processes and principle. Thank you.